Welcome to Queenstown, home to magnificent national parks, majestic mountains and stunning natural scenery. At the foot of the Remarkables mountain range and on the shores of the fabulous Lake Wakatipu, Queenstown is the adventure capital of the world. Steeped in Māori legend, it was believed that the lake was formed by the hollow of a giant, burned alive by Māori warriors. His heart, they say, still beats in the lake, causing sways like tides twice an hour. European settlers made their mark in the mid-19th century through Queenstown's founder, William Rees, and the discovery of gold. The legend of Rees and the gold rush are still a big part of Queenstown and the neighbouring Arrowtown. Surrounded by four world-class ski resorts and the famous Central Otago wine region, Queenstown's got it all. Whether you're here for excitement, inspiration, or the best food and drink in New Zealand, there's something for everyone. Kia ora, I'm Steve Gurney. Join us as we take you on an adventure throughout Queenstown and show you all that's on offer, so you can have a holiday that you'll never forget. Welcome to the Novotel Queenstown Lakeside, your home of four-star tranquility. All of the activities on today's show can be booked in the lobby at the concierge desk. And I'll be joined on the show by my good friend, Leanne Malcolm. Leanne will be staying here and showing you everything the hotel has to offer. Hi, I'm Leanne Malcolm. Big day planned? I sure do. And what better way to start the day than with a breath of fresh mountain air and a delicious buffet breakfast here at the beautiful Elements restaurant in the Novotel. The full buffet breakfast is available from 6am until 10.30am daily or until 11am on Sundays. It has a full selection of hot and cold items including eggs made to order, make your own waffle and fresh juice stations, whole baked salmon and much more. There's something for everyone. To start the trip, we're heading 45 minutes outside of Queenstown to Glenorchy, the gateway to paradise. Home to majestic mountains, stunning backcountry and authentic adventure. I'm going to high country horses who offer the most unique horse riding experience on the planet among the incredible scenery of Middle Earth. I'm heading out on one of the overnight adventures, traveling deep into the Dart Valley, through New Zealand backcountry and into an untouched native beach forest in fact, this very piece of beech forest here was so stunning, they used it for the Lord of the Rings filming. So Casey, what, what scene did they film here? Uh, over on our left, they did the Battle of Aemon Hill at the end of the first film. Well, there you go. And then tonight, we'll be camping right on the edge of the Mount Aspiring National Park.
No matter what your ability level or schedule, you can enjoy one-hour trips through to four-day adventures, operating exclusively in over 100,000 acres of mind-blowing backcountry terrain. They offer the highest elevation riding in Queenstown, as well as the only place in the world where you can ride the full circumference of a mountain. What an amazing day that was. I've ridden some of New Zealand's most stunning scenery. I'm here at a real authentic backcountry hut with venison on the fire, a glass of wine. I think I'll just sit back and relax. This sort of trip creates a lasting impression, and I can't think of a better way to discover Glenorchy, its history, its personality, and fall in love with the backcountry of New Zealand than to do a trip with a team at High Country Horses. Whilst horseback might be a great way to get up close and personal with the beauty of Glenorchy, I'm about to see this stunning part of the world from a perspective like no other. Glenorchy are the only scenic flight company operating here. And because all flights lift off and return back to Glenorchy, you'll see so much more of this amazing landscape. Plus, they're right on the doorstep of New Zealand's most stunning national park. So you'll see more scenery for less money than any other tour. Their flights take you immediately over both the Fjordland and Mount Aspiring National Parks, past magnificent snow-capped mountains, glaciers and ancient beech forests. Their extensive knowledge will have you captivated as you'll experience hidden lakes, braided rivers, and huge cascading waterfalls. They offer a range of trips for different budgets and timescales, whether it's a scenic trip to the world famous Milford Sound, or incredible mountaintop landings for views on top of the world. The views here are mind-blowing. These guys have got a tour that's truly unique, and it's about their location. In one short flight, you're transported through national parks, through movie scenes, through world-class fishing and hunting sites, and Glenorchy, the gateway to paradise, in a way you will never forget. And while I've been out and about in Glenorchy, Leanne's been checking out some of the activities in Queenstown. Let's take a look. Well, I'm here at KJet, the world's first commercial jet boat operator. 
Only KJet offers 60 minutes of unforgettable thrills, spins and exhilaration across three waterways in one of the world's most stunning locations. Today we're going to load the crew up and uh, head out for a bit of excitement, start off on the lake, then down uh, the Kaurau River, Shotover River, show them a good time, it's going to be awesome, heaps of fun, heaps of thrills. The twin-engine jet boat roars across the crystal clear Lake Wakatipu at breathtaking speed, surrounded by the majestic mountains and mesmerising scenery. Then you zoom under the Kawaro Dam onto the deep green waters of the Kawaro River, complete with loads of thrilling 360 degree spins. Next, your adventure heightens as your driver navigates the fast moving currents of the narrow braided Shotover River. You'll race up the shallow channels at speeds of up to 85 kilometres an hour in water that's in some places less than 5 centimetres deep. So come on down to the main town pier and join them for an hour of exhilaration and a lifetime of thrilling memories. I'm here at Segway on Q, and I'm on my very own Segway personal transporter. This is such a unique sensation riding one of these things. They're amazing and loads and loads of fun and just a brilliant way to see the sights of Queenstown. Let's take it for a spin. The crew at Segway on Q will train you up on how to ride a Segway before you embark on an adventure, taking in the beautiful Queenstown scenery along the way. This is a fantastic way to see the sights of Queenstown and have a great time doing it. There are one and two hour options, each including 15 to 20 minutes training, so there's an option to cater for any schedule and budget. Segway on Q has been inducted into the TripAdvisor Hall of Fame for achieving the Certificate of Excellence for five years in a row. Book yourself into one of their tours and find out what all the fuss is about. Welcome aboard the Million Dollar Cruise. This fabulous lake trip has been voted the number one boat tour in Queenstown by TripAdvisor because it offers more sights, more mountains and more scenery than any other tour. Departing from the heart of Queenstown, you'll take in all the city from the water before heading down the most interesting part of the lake. Along the way, you'll hear intriguing stories, facts and history about the local area and see some beautiful homes, all from the comfort of this gorgeous luxury heated vessel. You can relax with a beer or a wine from their bar or head out to the 360 degree viewing area, which is a great opportunity for photos. So don't forget your camera. Turning around at the head of the Frankton Arm, you'll get a stunning view of the Kawaro River and the Remarkables before heading back to town. With a little luck, locals Wayne and Betty will show you some rare birds and other wildlife, 
and you may even get to see some wild trout being fed. At just $35 for a 90-minute trip, the Million Dollar Cruise is great value for money. You might even get to wear the captain's hat. There are three trips departing daily, so why don't you come on down and check it out. No matter what your adventure here in Queenstown, one shop has everything you'll need. I'm here at Outside Sports at their new location right in the heart of Queenstown. They're open early till late all year round and they're your one-stop shop for all of your summer and winter sporting needs. I'm going to go and check what they got. Inside the store you'll find a great range of brands including everything you need for an outdoor adventure. Locally owned and operated for more than 20 years, outside sports staff are extremely knowledgeable and they offer the best bike rentals in town. All rentals include helmets and they'll give you a full rundown of the bike and a customised fit for your needs. Plus, whether you're looking to smash the downhill park or just cruise out to Gibston Valley for a glass of wine, they know all the best trails in Queenstown. Even though I'm a local and I've biked all over these hills in Queenstown, turns out you can teach an old dog new tricks. These guys are part of a brand new adventure here in Queenstown. Let's go and check it out. I'm in the middle of Lake Wakatipu and I'm on my way to Mount Nicholas Station. I'm going to do the station to station bike trail. It's the perfect half day independent cycle trail and what a way to see the best that Queenstown has to offer. Your journey between Mount Nicholas and Waterpeak stations takes you on an easy and stunning 12 km ride along a quiet country road through open farmland. Bang for buck, this has got to be one of the best value adventures in Queenstown. I mean you get two different boat rides, one on the Spirit of Queenstown, one on the Urns Law, all the bike hire, plus you get to see some amazing views. Check the peaks out, there's Mount Urns Law, Mount Alfred, Mount Nicholas, Mount Crichton, Cecil Peak, Walter Peak and the Remarkables. They're all iconic Queenstown peaks, and this is the only section of the lake you get to see them all in one go. That's unique. Upon arrival at Walter Peak, you can enjoy an optional barbecue lunch, farm show, and tour around the homestead before boarding the TSS Ernslaw for your return trip to Queenstown. The TSS Earnslaw is just pulling into Queenstown, the last stop on the station to station cycle trail. Thanks Outside Sport, nice bike, brilliant setup. I've just had an amazing half day adventure just out of Queenstown. It's a must do. Another great way to see the incredible scenery of the Queenstown region is through 120 kilometres or so of world-class cycling and walking trails throughout the Wakatipu Basin. There are a wide range of different loops to choose from, all with the spectacular scenery and incredible riding. The Kelvin Peninsula Loop will lead you through forests and give you a bird's eye view of Queenstown Bay, Walter Peak and the Frankton Arm. Then you can continue into the Lake Wakatipu ride 
and stop for a well-earned break overlooking the lake at the historical Boat Shed Cafe. Locals tip, try the sticky buns. You can also cross the lower Shotover Bridge and ride all the way to the Kawaro River to find your perfect picnic spot. Or be brave and ride across the Edgar Bridge, which is a good photo op if you're brave enough to stop and look down. Continuing on the trail via the world's first commercial bungee bridge, you are never far from a vineyard for a wine tasting or lunch. And if you have any energy left, you can head back to Arrowtown along the Arrow River, rich in gold history. Just outside Arrowtown, there's the ride down the avenue with its majestic oak trees, where we recommend a stop at Millbrook Resort, a great place to stop for lunch. Or take off down Christine's Hill on the countryside ride to the exceptionally scenic Lake Hayes Loop Track. And at the end of the day, there's always a bike taxi service to pick you up and take you back to your hotel. To find out more about these amazing trails or any activities mentioned in this program, contact the concierge desk today or have a flick through your in-room activities guide. The guide features something for everyone, even things to do on those wet weather days. And here's a perfect example of something you can do on a rainy day in Queenstown. Fear Factory, New Zealand's scariest haunted house. It's only been going for two years, but already more than 7,000 people have chickened out of Fear Factory. It is that scary. I've got no idea what to expect, but I have been told that seven-year-olds can go through, so I'm going to see if I am brave enough to take the challenge and do Fear Factory Queenstown. Oh! <laughs> Don't laugh. <gasps> Yuck. I'm already scared. No. Oh! 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 Whoa! Hold on to me, Pete. There you go. There you oh go. my god. Oh, the I can't see a thing. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, it really was terrifying. It was everything that they said it would be and more. Very, very scary experience. But if you want an adrenaline rush, uh, you want to try it out, you're feeling super brave, come down, check it out, feel the fear, come to Fear Factory. <laughs> I definitely need a drink after that, and what better place than the Elements Bar here at the Novotel. Cheers. Here you can also enjoy the Kiwi Bites menu and blackboard specials while relaxing by the Schist fireplace, or enjoying the picturesque rose garden and lakeside views. Lake Wakatabu on a summer's day is irresistible. You've got to be in the water or on it. I'm a kayaker and I know the lake really well, but today I'm going to try something completely different. I'm here with Bo Weston, the owner of Flyboard Queenstown, to give it a go. But wait, not only is Bo the owner, he's a professional stuntman and he's going to teach me how to fly. Flyboard Queenstown is a one-of-a-kind experience, operating from November till April, and it's easy for all ages from 10 and up. 
They'll have you flying in no time, and if you're feeling brave, there's plenty of dives, spins and tricks they can teach you. Plus, you can try the all-new Jetpack experience, whether solo or in tandem, so it's great for the whole family. No experience is necessary, and they'll provide you all the equipment and training you'll need to make you a pro in no time. That was amazing, and surprisingly easy to learn. The best bit for me was how high you get, yet it's so safe. So if you want to get wet, to fly, and have an unforgettable experience, there's no better place than Flyboard Queenstown. Well, I deserve a drink after that. And how is this for a place to relax? What stunning views. It's the private gardens right outside my villa. Cheers. We've only driven a short distance and here we are at the start of the Skipper's Canyon, an area of outstanding natural beauty and an area with a rich gold mining history. It's also home to the Skipper's Canyon Jet, an adrenaline filled jet boat ride on the upper Shotover River. The tour begins with a guided drive into the historic Skipper's Canyon via the infamous Skipper's Canyon Road. And once on board, you'll feel your adrenaline surge as you power deeper into skippers through the narrowest canyons of the Shotover River. With an onboard commentary from our knowledgeable drivers, you'll learn of the fascinating history of this area. You'll hear of the hardships endured by the miners who battled the harsh New Zealand conditions to extract gold from the richest gold-bearing river in the world. Our highly skilled jet boat drivers manoeuvre the boat just inches from the sheer rock walls and keep the excitement levels high with speeds in excess of 80 kilometres an hour and a series of full 360 degree spins. Skipper's Canyon Jet Boat Tour is the only jet boat ride where you get to experience historic gold mining relics that still remain in the river as well as several Lord of the Rings filming locations. Skipper's Canyon Jet offers a great balance of stunning scenery, local history and a thrilling jet boat ride, all just a short drive from Queenstown. I'm here at Climbing Queenstown, Queenstown's premier guiding company. They've been going since 2003 and they promise this is the start of your real adventure. The stunning mountain ranges behind me and the beautiful climbing valleys of Queenstown are at your fingertips. So today I'm joined by Neil McAloon from Climbing Queenstown. Hey Neil. Hey Leanne. How are you? Nice to meet you. I hear you're going to show me the ropes, so to speak. Yeah. So what's, what can I expect? So today we're going to go down and uh, give you a little bit of adventure on some of our local rock faces within Queenstown. Fantastic. Be Can't fun. wait. Should be great. Should we go? Yeah, let's do it. All right. With their excellent service, tuition and small group sizes, clients get more time with their guide, 
guaranteeing them a real adventure under the guidance of a professional. They cater for all levels, from the absolute beginner to the advanced skills courses for experienced climbers, as well as safe family adventures. Whatever your comfort level, there's a broad range of activities from all types of climbing to New Zealand's only Via Ferrata to hiking, camping and technical mountaineering trips up many of the peaks around the Wakitipu Basin. With competitive prices compared with many activities offered in Queenstown, it's a fun and affordable day out. Well, that was absolutely amazing. I had so much fun and it was absolutely brilliant having Neil here with me as well. Anyone can do this, you can be any age. So if you are looking for like real adventure, come on down to Climbing Queenstown, it's fantastic. Welcome to Thrill Zone, downtown Queenstown on Shotover Street. It's a fun, high energy, adrenaline fueled experience with heaps of indoor activities. The only problem I have is, is which one to start with. It really is one location for a world of thrills. So you can start with a journey to the edge of reality in New Zealand's most thrilling 12D motion theatre. Well, if shoot em up is more your thing, you can come down here and fight in their 360 degree battlefield. Forget what you know about lasers there, you can't do this one at home. These guys have got the latest and greatest technology for the most authentic and interactive experience on the planet. Yeah! And if you don't like guns, Thrill Zone features the first non-gun laser tag system in the world with their Hero Blast Club. But if you really want to experience the thrill and excitement of strategic tactical combat, then Extreme Reball is for you. It's like paintball without the mess on a purpose-built battlefield. And you get to fire at 200 kilometers an hour with unlimited ammo. Bring it on! As well as being one location for a world of thrills, Thrill Zone is also the best babysitting service in the world, with their kids club open 10 till 10, seven days a week. Whatever your age, Thrill Zone's a great activity for the whole family. I'm definitely a big kid and I loved every minute of it. If you want one location with a world of thrills, come on down to Thrill Zone. Well, I've had quite the adventure today here in Queenstown, and now it's time to relax at the Elements restaurant at the Novotel and have some dinner. Here you can indulge in the new delicious grill menu available in a relaxed and stylish setting at Elements restaurant daily from 6 p.m. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your stay at the Novotel as much as I have, and have a great time in Queenstown. No matter what your adventure here in beautiful Queenstown, you can be sure Novotel Lakeside have everything you need for a relaxing stay.